Private parties instead of school dances. Parents in the East Valley are concerned tonight because of a winter formal bash that's planned for this weekend at a home in Gilbert. Brianna Whitney has been looking into this today and Brianna, this news is all over social media. Yeah, yeah, this is being advertised on Instagram and already dozens of tickets have been purchased through Venmo, but none of the advertisements mention anything about following COVID safety protocols and county officials say the hosts of this could be in trouble. Had you heard of this winter formal thing going around? Yes, yes. Everybody knows about it. Andrea Rumsey lives on the border of Gilbert and Chandler and has two high school daughters. She's angry about what she's seeing on social media right now. It is emotionally draining to see parents sending a message that is so detrimental to, to our society and teaching our children that these rules do not apply to them. She's referring to this, an Instagram page advertising winter formal 2020 at a Gilbert home this Saturday, including a DJ and food truck at a time when our COVID numbers are soaring. The page also gives a Venmo where to send cash for tickets with already nearly 50 people who have bought them. What is the message that you're sending them? That their need to have a dance is more important than someone else's life. I would ask these parents, are you being a good neighbor? Dr. Shad Marvasti agrees. He says having an event like this can become a super spreader event in an instant. You get excited, you sing to your favorite song. We know that singing also increases the spread of the aerosol particles. Unless everybody's wearing like an N95 respirator and full PPE, right, uh, as their costume and their outfit for the dance, um, you're going to get spread. We tried calling the homeowners listed for the house where this formal was being advertised, but did not get calls back. Both Gilbert Police and Maricopa County say they didn't know about this event until we started asking questions, and now the county is investigating. Reporting live tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.